Good day and welcome to another installment of Aviate Higher. Today we're going to be talking about solo requirements for the student pilot. So we're going to be looking at 61.87, 61.87. And what that says is a student pilot may not operate an aircraft in solo flight unless that student has met certain requirements. And so I'm going to go through those requirements and just explain them for a few minutes. This should be a fairly short video, but important to all those who are learning how to fly and just curious what it takes to get to the point of flying the aircraft by yourself. So <clears throat> all these things that I'm explaining must be completed and completed satisfactorily, satisfactorily before uh, the instructor or your instructor will allow you to fly by yourself. So it says, the aeronautical knowledge a student must uh, student pilot must demonstrate satisfactory aeronautical knowledge on a knowledge test that meets the requirements of this paragraph. So before you even fly by yourself, you have to take a written test. Uh, typically, this is something that is given to you by your local flight school or by your uh, instructor personally. Uh, the test must address the student pilot's knowledge of applicable sections of parts 61 and 91 of this chapter, airspace rules and procedures for the airport where the solo flight will be performed, and flight characteristics and operational limitations for the make and model of aircraft to be flown. Uh, the student's authorized instructor must administer the test, as I said a moment ago, and at the conclusion of the test, review all correct answers with the students before authorizing that student to conduct a solo flight. So not only do you have to take the test, but it's our responsibility to make sure that we correct that test uh, to 100%. That way we know that when you go up, if something were to happen, that hopefully you will retain the knowledge and information and in the event of an emergency, be able to handle it like a professional pilot. Uh, Pre-solo flight training. Uh, prior to conducting a solo flight, a student pilot must have received and logged flight training for the maneuvers and procedures of this section that are appropriate to the make and model of aircraft to be flown. Uh, demonstrated satisfactory proficiency and safety as judged by the authorized instructor on the maneuvers and procedures required by this section in the make and model of aircraft or similar make and model of aircraft to be flown. And then the maneuvers and procedures for pre-solo flight training in a single engine airplane. Uh, a student pilot who is receiving training for a single pilot airplane rating or privileges must receive and log flight training for the following maneuvers and procedures. Number one, it says proper flight preparation procedures, including pre-flight planning and preparation, power plant operation, and aircraft systems. Taxiing and surface operations, including run-ups, uh, takeoffs and landings, including normal and crosswind. So you can't do all of your training before you solo in calm conditions. You've got to have a little bit of wind in there. Uh, straight and level flight and turns in both directions. Uh, climbs and climbing turns. Airport traffic patterns, including entry and departure procedures. Uh, collision avoidance, wind shear avoidance, and wake turbulence avoidance. Descents with and without turns using high and low drag configurations. Flight at various airspeeds from cruise to slow flight. Uh, stall entries from various flight attitudes and power combinations with recovery initiated at the first indication of a stall. And for the student uh, pilot learning how to become a private pilot, recovery from a full stall. Uh, emergency procedures and equipment malfunctions, ground reference maneuvers, approaches to a landing area with simulated engine malfunctions, slips to a landing, and go-arounds. <clears throat> and that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Uh, so if you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments below. I'll see if I can answer them to the best of my ability. And uh, have a great day. We'll see you next time, and thanks for watching. Take care.